listen angels, grab your cups of tea, get that biscuit tin, because today we have one of your favourite videos in the entire world. A Primark haul. Yeah. Good morning beautiful angels and welcome back to my channel. I have literally missed you guys so much. It's ridiculous. Primark was actually insane this month. Do you know what I mean? You know when sometimes you walk into Primark and it's a bit like, mm, like I can just easily walk out. I mean, I can never say that personally about Primark, but you know, I've heard that people say that. This month it was actually really, really good. And I was really blown away. So luckily I spent some dollar dollar bills, yo. And today we're going to do a Primark haul. I literally just feel like I haven't spoken to the camera in ages. Do you know what I mean, boo? Let me just put my cup of tea down for one second. Oh, that's going all the way with my nice new cardi. So, jumping straight in. Um, I actually don't even know where to start. I was actually mostly impressed with the home stuff. So I guess let's start off with that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do I even need to tell you what that is? So far from Primark. I know, I'm pretty blown away myself. So, walked into Primark and what did I see? A throw staring right at me. A faux, th faux far throw. Wow. They actually had one of these that like wasn't hung up like this. So I chucked it down on the floor to, you know, see the size of it. To me, it didn't look like a throw. It looked like one of those really cute little small white rugs that we all have lying around the house from Ikea. But Primark are now doing them, so thank you Primark, big up. Primark. This one was £10. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna... I'm just gonna take one for the team and I'm just gonna open it now. I mean, I'm feeling, feeling generous today, so... Look, see? There we go. One of those little rugs, you know? And I thought that was really cute for £10 from Primark. Um, to be honest, I don't actually have anywhere in the house where that needs to go, but I thought I can't leave Primark and not get that boo. So, that was one of my number one buys, I'm gonna say. I'm actually gonna show you my next favourite item. Let's do it in favouritism. Okay, Ellie, why not? You know, teachers always said favouritism's a bad thing. I'm not really so sure it is. You just know what you want in life, do you know what I mean? And let me tell you, angels, oh, I've not got this out of the bag since I went to Primark, obviously, because I've been literally trying my hardest to keep everything in the bag so it can be like nice and new for you guys when you watch the video. But, I did open one pair of pyjamas, so sorry about me, that is unprofessional. But listen, I hope I'm going to make it up to you by this. <gasps> White loungewear. You can best believe I bought the matching joggers. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Oh my actual goodness. Is this not angel uniform if you've ever seen it before in your entire life? Most of you guys will probably know, a couple of months ago I found this absolutely stunning navy. No, actually, what colour would it be? It, I would say it was like purple blue loungewear in Primark and it was in... Oh my gosh, everybody, it was just the softest thing. Still to this day, it's probably the softest thing I own. I've been literally praying like this, please bring out more loungewear Primark just like that because that's so nice. And I just feel like I've been manifesting 10 out of 10 because it's finally happened. They brought it out in a white. I got the joggers in a size small, which is a 10 to 12. And I don't really mind about that. Usually I'm a 6 to 8, but I always let my lounge wear my pyjamas a size up. You know, I wear lounge wear to be comfortable, not to look glam. You know, I'd wear 10 size up if I could. And the trousers were £8. And then I also got a size small in the top. Um, and the top was also £8. So hopefully that looks really nice. I just really like the look of that. It's like a really cute, cosy white sweater. Um, listen, you're going to be seeing Ellie Darby at the Odeon in her white Primark loungewear. Oh my god, did that, could that sentence possibly get any more Ellie Darby? With a white monster. There we go. Okay, let me just be embarrassing and show you the pyjamas that I actually opened and worn. Listen, boo, sorry, but when you see this, you will understand... You won't be hating on me. You'll literally bite. Oh, Ellie, I don't know how you couldn't open this. Do you know what I mean? Before you film. So I picked up these really cute pyjamas. Listen, I know that they're like ruffled and it's embarrassing and I'm gross. These are Mary Poppins pyjamas. You know how Primark have just literally become like Disney Queens all of a sudden? Look, it says supercalifragilisticexpialidocious on the tag. Oh my gosh. I just picked up those and then they have matching trousers. I want to say... These pyjamas were like £10, maybe 12 I got them in a size small, again 10 to 12 and 
they're literally really really comfy and i think they're so cute i also picked up these pajamas just because i literally thought they were so nice do you know what i mean look at that color scheme sorry baby pink and like minty blue and a bit of white and then black outline just love it Off to lounge nap queen that's me this was 12 pounds so i think the disney ones must have been 12 pounds as well and again i got these in a size small i just think can't go wrong listen i don't buy my pajamas from anywhere apart from primark you cannot beat primark and i'm sorry but if you've never bought pajamas or loungewear from primark you literally haven't lived I don't know where you're buying your loungewear and pyjamas, but you just... I mean, how have you got here? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't know the main reason I bought those. I just thought they're the perfect fake tan pyjamas. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like that colour scheme is going to make my fake tan pop. Do you know what I mean? Blonde hair, fake tan, and then these pyjamas. That's me. Also picked up um, a new dressing gown from the loungewear section. I just picked up this one. Oh my gosh! No, okay, actually, fair play to me. I was going to say this looks absolutely massive, but it's actually only a medium, and I remember trying it on in the shop because I couldn't see a small, and I just really wanted it. I just really wanted a nice, fluffy, white dressing gown. I was thinking about purchasing one from the white company, but listen, boo, I was... I was on the white company website on literally Boxing Day, like, waiting for the dressing gowns to go on sale, and they were still, like, over £100, and I just thought... <laughs> Mm. So, you know, when white company can't come through, trust me, honey, Primark will. Um, not too long ago, I bought a baby pink fluffy dressing gown. And it literally wasn't that long ago. Like, you guys would have seen the video in maybe, like, November. I don't feel like it was that long ago. But, anyway, because I wear my dressing gown every single night. Sorry. Sorry about that mini silence there. I was just thinking about how people actually don't have dressing gowns. Some people don't have dressing gowns in this world. I bought one from Primark and then I put it in the wash. I don't know how this happens, Primark, but my fluffy baby pink dressing gown turned into like a brown mauve colour. Don't know how it happened. Was very confused. Anyway, I forgive them. Nevertheless, I did need a new dressing gown, so I picked up this one. Oh, I'm ready to go to bed. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just love dressing gowns so much. Do you know what, guys? I am just going to have to go and do it because they are literally bulging out at me. And they won't let me continue with the Primark one unless I show them. But I picked up these. These are for my sofa downstairs. So, I have definitely mentioned it in a few vlogs. I'm not redoing my living room by any means. But, when we moved in September, I had just Christmas in my head. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. But I was literally like, oh my god, my living room needs to be the coziest, red, gold, autumn-y, wintry kind of room ever. So, when I got my stone-coloured sofa... I just bought lots of like brown, red, orange, burnt orange sort of cushions and stuff to go with it. But now it's obviously the new year. I am crushing on white at the moment. White interior. Cream interior. I just think cream sofas, white sofas, they are absolutely stunning. So I'm kind of having a little bit of a cushion revamp to see if that's going to change the look of the room at all. And I saw these in Primark and I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really big. I don't know if you can kind of tell through the screen but they are massive they're 10 pounds each and i bought two of them I just really like them i thought that was so cute and then from home sense because i went to home sense a couple of days later i bought some white velvet cushions so those two are going to finally sit together on the sofa and i'm very excited about it oh my gosh i just literally can't wait to give you guys like all of the house updates in my next few vlogs because there's a lot the next little purchase i bought was this cute plant i thought this was a very bathroom kind of plant you know this is gonna go in my downstairs toilet and i just thought you know i thought she'd give me a bit of parisian vibes you know that restaurant in the louvre lulu's is it just it makes me think of that i don't know why i'm saying that because i've never been there but i just i'm getting that vibe cute you know clean green it was nine pounds just gonna sit next to my reed diffuser and my little candle in the window in the toilet I think that's very nice next up i just bought two sets of these little crocodile clips these are to create this bun as we can all see here and herbie has literally sat on about 10 of these and broke them all so i need some new ones you know when you go to primark and you're about to film a primark haul and then you remember you bought like boring stuff that you don't really want to show in the primark haul 
but you kind of have to because it's a Primark haul and you can't miss anything out. We're about to go on to those items. Picked up some little, you know, essentials. I picked up a powder puff, primarily for my face powder, but mainly because I actually watched Sarah Ashcroft's video on from when she went to the Makeup by Mario Masterclass, and she basically said that Mario had said, if you haven't watched the video, I'm sure you probably have watched the video because it's amazing. Instead of just going straight in baking, um, he used a powder puff and just kind of like went around the face with powder first before he baked and so I've been trying to do that with a normal brush because I didn't have a powder puff but now I do have a powder puff and that's the most boring story over and then I also picked up some makeup sponges primarily just for these pink ones here just to bake my nose down there like that and then also use them at an angle like that and then also I just picked up some cosmetic pads because I take my makeup off with micellar water and these. And I don't like the little round ones. And I, no, literally nobody like cares about this fact about you, so. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys will not believe this, but Primark have come through with the activewear. I'm sure you must have seen a few people do a few different videos on the Primark activewear because my gal Alice has really come through with the collection. It's absolutely smashed it and I'm such a big fan. So obviously I purchased Oh my gosh, it's embarrassing if this isn't going to be from her range. I'm pretty sure it is, but yeah, there we go. Look, Alice Living with Primark. Amazing, amazing collection. Um, I bought this hoodie. Well, I wouldn't say it's a hoodie because it actually hasn't got a hood. It's more like a pullover sweater, and I just really liked that. I thought that is ultimate loungewear goals, isn't it? I just think absolutely gorgeous. I got it in a size medium so it could be nice and oversized on me. I like my sweaters quite big. Um, this was £12. Absolutely love that. You know, you look at something like for the second time and you're like, wow, really happy with that. I also picked up these two from the active wear section. I don't think these are in the Alice collection. These are just... They, these just have like the workout labels on them so um, but I picked up these two absolutely gorgeous sports bras how nice are they these were both £4 each and I just think they're really cute staples you know uh, right I've just spent about 5 minutes trying to put this all back on the hanger because it's fallen off but I just think who is going to judge me if something's fallen off the hanger nobody so listen i'm just gonna show you right there we go look oh that's a poor effort ellie well i can't actually believe i'm saying this angels because it didn't feel like you know we've gone through all the items that quickly but this is actually the last thing i purchased from primark and okay i don't mind saving it until last because it's absolutely stunning now i look at it again wow oh my goodness all of my stuff from primark is just amazing oh i picked up these pajamas oh my goodness look the last pajama set that i got in primark and it's these absolutely gorgeous silk kind of material baby pink i also got the matching bottoms obviously they're just the trousers and then around the bottom they have this cute silver lining look every cloud has a silver lining just like my pajamas and i just thought that set was absolutely gorgeous so that set was 15 pounds which is obviously expensive for primark but it was like the oh my gosh it was a secret possessions which is like the luxe to primark Am I right? And again, I got this in a size 10 to 12, which is a small. And that, angels, is everything I got. Um, I'm incredibly happy with my purchases from Primark this month. You know, sometimes when you go in and it's a bit like, mm. this month, I just thought, wow, Primark, you have blown my socks off. I'm incredibly happy with everything. Thanks for providing me with the cutest pyjamas ever. But angels, that is everything I got. And that is going to go ahead and conclude the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't gone to Primark recently, I advise you should. So we can all get Angel Girl pyjamas. <laughs> and live our best life love you guys so much thank you so much for watching today's video angels um i will see you in thursday's one bye